Homeowner Karen Jackson has had some great luck recently. First, Hurricane Dorian swerved north, sparing her hometown of Palm Coast, Florida. It was, it was, it was scary and it just kept wobbling and myself along with a lot of other people were really worried. She is also a winner of a resilient roof upgrade from BASF and the Federal Alliance for Safe Homes. Hi, I'm John Zarella. After Hurricane Michael hit the Florida Panhandle, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers installed thousands upon thousands of temporary blue tarp roofs. Now that Karen's attic is insulated with closed cell spray foam, she's not worried about becoming one of those numbers in the future. I remember after Hurricane Michael hit the Panhandle, there were at least 14 straight days of rain and a lot of attics were left exposed. A lot of roofs weren't covered. And those blue tarps, frankly, are not a permanent fixture. So having that closed cell foam underneath the deck, whether it's retrofitted or built new from your construction contractor, you're going to have that protection that will allow you to withstand anything Mother Nature will basically put out. And that's just what Karen wanted. Insulation installers Florida Energy Solutions converted her attic from ventilated to non-ventilated, essentially turning her house into a cooler. Conventional insulation uh, consists of an attic space that's above your living space. So you're paying the power company to cool the box that's from the ceiling level down inside your house. With a closed attic system, we come back in and we close all that off from the inside of the structure. Outside of the house is not altered at all. Top build home services technician Andrew Floyd says a post installation blower door test is critical to make sure the spray foam insulation has created an airtight house. The spray foam goes in and it fills every nook and cranny in that roof deck to make it airtight or really close to it. The benefit of that is now you've gained control of that thermal boundary. All your duct work that was once now in unconditioned space is now in conditioned space. Every bit of air that you're paying to condition is staying inside the shell in this house. And what that does is it pulls pressure out of it and it measures that leakage at certain uh, pascals and pressure and it gives us a corresponding flow in CFM. So you can show how much air sealing was done by the closed cell foam. Right now, about 20% of the insulation market is spray polyurethane foam. But that number is growing by about 7% a year and it's easy to see why. My thermostat sends me emails every month about how much it's been running. I actually had one that said that my air conditioner ran 11 hours less than it did, like previous months. It was amazing, I'm 11, and it was the hottest part of the summer. The industry is definitely on the increase as people discover the benefits of, of spray foam and how it's applied. Service Partners is a leading distributor of insulation products, including spray foam. All of the people that we sell the material to has to go through a training process, and it's based around the safety of the material. You need to have protective equipment to install the material. I cannot wait to see the industry grow over the next 10 years. Regardless if you're in the path or if you're on the outskirts of a hurricane or just a normal weather storm, you still have that blanket of protection that you'll get from no other product as long as it's done right and you have the right installers as we had here today, the right team, the right suppliers, you have a perfect recipe to weather the storm. To give somebody peace of mind, that protection, it's priceless. Everything is sealed and it's hard as a rock. You want it to be strong and that's exactly what it is. To me, it's like Fort Knox. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. For more information on spray foam insulation, go to flash.org. And if you'd like to learn more about disaster durable solutions, go to spf.basf.com. I'm John Zarella, and I'll see you next time on Protect Your Home in a Flash.